Good afternoon. Here we have an absolutely lovely stone little cottage just two kilometres from the market town of Albayazari. You can see that it is completely built in stone. Now here is a view coming from the east. It is shrouded in shadow because this is late afternoon. Now here's a boundary map that gives you an idea. It's a small plot but it is square and surrounds the property. It's 150 square metres on the paperwork, but it is larger than that. I'd say about 250 square metres. The roof's in good condition, but you might want to take it off and put a ring beam and then just reuse the roofing materials. But that's up to you. The walls are still in good condition at the moment, so you could get away with just insulating the roof or putting in a ceiling and ignoring it altogether, but my advice would be to ring beam it. Here we have one man and his dog, and there's me, cunningly disguised as a, well, a drone pilot. Now normally I put maps in here, which I haven't done today because Sarah has already described the distances to everywhere, but I will tell you that it really is walking distance and certainly cycling distance to Al Vyazari. There is a hill there which might take you a little bit of practice before you cycle all the way up that, but it is very close to the town. Now, even with all the views I've given you, it does look smaller than it is. As we go through the tour, you will see how you can open up this property, utilise all of the space and make this lovely cottage into any one of a number of options. So, here we go in again. At this time, I'm coming in from the west, so the sun is directly on the property. Now here, as Sarah is going to explain to you, you can park a couple of cars outside the property. No problem whatsoever. Here's the approach. If you were coming from Alba Yassari, this is the way that you would come in. And your parking would be just off the road on the grass area there. Let us go and find Sarah. Hello. Back in Alba Yassari today. So, we are just at the top or near the top of Pedro Serra. So behind, well you can't see this at all, up the top there is the top of the mountain, Alviathari mountain, from up there you've got absolutely stunning views. Here we're on a little side lane, there's a couple of houses down there, the two houses behind me, the first of which is what we're going to see, we are surrounded by oak trees, nice just countryside views, great location, really peaceful, two kilometres from our VR3. So we can do a pan around. So more or less the way Paul's pointing at the moment is, is south. So south was just to the right of the property, which is fine. This olive, this fig tree here is not included. However, we've got what is essentially an 80 square metre build. And it says 150 square metres of land, but I suspect it's a little bit more. And if I'm going to go down there, I am not in bramble protective clothes, marvellously. But the fig tree is in. So we're going to go down there, fig tree's in, turn left. And basically you've got a strip of land that goes all around the property. You've got easy parking at the front, like literally wide enough for two cars to just sit there. If you wanted to put a wooden shelter over it, you could. The stone, you can't see it. I don't know if you're going to stand on it. Or maybe not. Why do I stand on everything? Here, nice big... This is a bread oven. From this area here, which would have been a summer kitchen. You can either cover that again. Well, you'd cover it again anyway, I imagine, for shade. And then you either leave what were the windows open or, or close them in. Your call. Obviously, it gives you an extra room if you close it in. Ah, utilities. Water pipe right by my feet. Telephone pole behind... Telephone pole. I don't need to. He's right there. Telephone pole next to Paul. Electricity. So everything's here. Now, the steps are not very steppy. 
They're more slippy slidey and brambly. Until you get to this bit, which is fine. Yeah. How's slippy slidey going for you? Marvellous. Okay, you, you're getting used to me and my rocks now. Lovely windows, big rocks, nice slate slabs of stone. We've got a solid stone platform here that you've walked down the steps onto this area here, which is a meter and a bit wide. And to there's steps down the side that go to the land through this doorway here. Obviously it would have had a roof on it. We've got original, this is the original stone walls here. Oh, we've got a sterling bread oven for you. Paul's going to get very excited about it. I've just stopped him from ripping the plants out of it. Right. Lovely fig tree blocking your few. They're incredibly resilient. You just chop this half off and it'll grow back and you've got a view. You'll do it every year. Um, no. Oh. You just put a roof back on this, I imagine, so this was at least a covered area. Might be inclined to leave it open. Your call. Come on then, get in your bread oven. He needed to leave the plants in, didn't he? And there we are. So enormous stone here on the windows. So underneath me, just on this area here is block and beam. This is concrete, so this is completely solid. Now the room underneath doesn't have much height and would always probably be a storage room. The rest is a great big surprise underneath. It, this could be a really nice house. Right, we have to jump over the first four or so boards. They're absolutely safe, my dear. So once in, we've got, uh, it's another, it's a rip it out, rip it out, rip it out. We've got nice views. So uh, can you get up to the window? Well, don't fall over. It's just really peaceful, quiet, no houses, but there's houses around. And then the room has... One room with one, two, three smaller rooms off it. Oh, go over there back to the doorway because you know how I like... Oh, can I do this? <gasps> oh, I can't. That's really annoying. Look at that. See? One enormous piece of stone. I'll do this. It has to fall down. Right. I like look to look back. I mean, that all could be exposed and it would just look fabulous, actually. Yeah, it is really, really nice cottage. I wasn't expecting... From the road, it doesn't look like much. But when you see the underneath and realise that this actually could be incorporated into a three-storey house... Look at that. One solid piece of stone, taller than me. And the same on the other side of the doorway. Beautiful. So, you just rip this out and use this as one big room. Now, I've been up the stairs. Not, not sure. Paul likes testing whether they were a bit bouncy. <laughs> Shall I do the camera? Or are you going to yeah. see? We're just going to find out if Paul falls down or not, really. It's basic Paul, actually, I'm not sure. <laughs> I think this is going to have to be it. <laughs> yeah, because it's, <laughs> it's got one wooden pole be. holding them up and I can see them bending. Okay. <laughs> But basically, you rip all this out and you ring beam this. Yeah. New roof on it. And the roof's not that old. No, but and you've got to ring... the tiles are certainly reusable. Yeah, the tiles are reusable, but you need to ring beam it. Yeah. To solidify, especially if you're going oh, to use three stories. I, I, I would definitely ring beam yeah. it. Oh, my God, we agree on something. There we go. Yeah. So, upstairs, you've got definitely one level. With a ring beam, you gain about 30 centimetres... You insulate the roof very well and you put a couple of, dare I say, V-Lux, V-Lux, V-Lux windows in. Skylights. Oh, God. Skylights, that's what we'll call them. The beams in here actually look good, but you've just got to get it all out to, to just consider that as consolidate, consolidate the whole square metreage. 
So let's go and have a look at the garden. Obviously at the moment, unless we fall through this hole here, we need to go outside and back down. Uh, I think we should just keep filming, can we? Should we just, yeah. just do it? Because it's not a huge garden. We are going to get prickled, but hey ho. Worst things happen at sea, blah, blah, blah. Now you have got a... Not, got not a from there. No, okay. The land has been strimmed. It was obviously seriously overgrown. Now we have got a reasonable guideline. What I was, it's all about the light for Paul, trying to be able to, uh, ow. Behind me, there is a stone wall. So between, I don't know, can you see it? You've, you've got a, 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 a stone wall as your boundary and you're down from the road. But literally no one's gonna pass that. I mean, yeah, really I not. So we have to assume that the boundary is pretty much where he's cut up to. And you have, I'm going to say that's definitely it because I know the fig tree's in. Here he is. The figs are ripe, actually. The fig tree, and on the other side of the fig tree, we turn left and we just come back up the other side. But let's look at this one here. Ow. This area. Look at all the water. I mean, me and my stone. Right. So this area here. I don't think you oh, it's got very nice stone in it though. <laughs> um, you, you're never going to use it. For, well, I mean, you could dig down if you wanted to, no. but I wouldn't. You store, look at that whopper there. Look at him. But this is just storage. Garden furniture, tools, bicycles. So of course, you can easy bicycle into town and back from here without really wearing yourself out too much at all. She says. There is a hill, in fairness, but... Hey ho. And round to the back where we get the surprise. Because if you can get here and the light allows you to see the full height of it, it's, you're really not expecting to find that. Ah. There's lintels here. Okay. Yeah, a bit tricky on your feet, probably. So this property makes a good-sized two-bedroom home, three bedrooms with smaller bedrooms. So for a working couple who don't want a lot of land maintenance, it's perfect. As an investment property, it's rentals, it's perfect as well. And actually, these... They're old hooks, aren't they? There used to be a beam in those and something would have come out. Yeah. That's what I would say from those. And it goes along, oh look, it goes all the way along the back. That one's fallen out on the end there. The door's gorgeous, but we need to go round again. Yet again, stone, 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 solid pieces, but this is why you want to consolidate because, I mean, me looking up now, that's really tall. Have you got the height yeah. in? That's why you can need, you add an extra 30 centimetres on that and um, you've really got a three-storey property. You come in here. Hang on. Oh, you've got a lovely shelf. Ah, oh, I've forgotten about the big stone. Obviously, there's no windows in here, but what you do have are the two doorways. Back. And you've got this. This is a beauty. You can't, you can't. If someone buys this and they've got rid of that, I'm, I'm not going to be happy with them. Oh, the bat's still here. Now we're scaring him. So, that... Enormous beam, I mean, that's eucalyptus. If you could manage to save this and that beam and everything, treat the beam and put everything else new so you don't have any woodworm, then this would be beautiful. And it's a good sized space. So what you have got at the back, I don't know if you could maybe go over there and look at the back wall. We were just talking, yes, okay, behind me maybe. 
So here, you're obviously you're into the bedrock. This is solid rock. This isn't sand rock that's disintegrating between my fingers. So Paul had the good idea of coming up here with the staircase. I've just noticed a large amount of flies. Coming up here with the staircase and then you just leave the rock underneath is a feature and go up into the second floor. He just completely redesigned the, the entire of the house around this one pillar, which you're not allowed to move. And that is essentially the property. It's a lovely project, it's a really good price, great location, incredibly peaceful. We've had one man and his dog walk by. I think maybe one car went past earlier, did it? I love the, I particularly love the details of the door. Yeah. Yeah, you've got your triangles. Yeah. Yeah. They're always gorgeous. They're really nice. You can imagine there's some right, knickknacks on top of there. I don't know what they were for. They were like, they're, they're very traditional here. Yeah, they're, I mean, no, they're, they're um, a strengthening thing. Oh, is that what it's it is? a structural thing, yeah. Okay. I mean, this, yeah, this one isn't such good repair, but it, everything's repairable. Or you can replace it with that great big piece of rock in the other one, in the other room. So coming out again, you've also got a, f I don't know what this was, but for some reason there's a stone wall here. And, oh, let's just say it was a dog kennel. I've no idea. <laughs> and here, I say this olive tree's in and your land goes back up this side of the property. So <laughs> the left from the road, the left hand side of the house, the, the tank, not sure what it's doing there, but again, lovely great big stone tank and you could pick it up and move it and you've got one window going into the first floor of the property there. Pick it up and move it? Well, Isn't nice what? strapping young men or a machine. Seven tonne digger. Well, let's not get picky about the machinery. So we've got... One, yeah, you can easily get two cars on here, you just drive on. One sort of arrow slit window, but this would be the back of the house. And everything would be faced front because you've got nice views. You've got a couple of fruit trees and a very peaceful location. Summary. We had south approximately over there, I think. We've got Alviata in two. North, east, south, west. All right, it's south over there. And Dav Alviazri is definitely two kilometres. It's definitely still got a school, a pharmacy, supermarkets, everything you need. I've just had a very nice pistachio ice cream. Nah, 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 nah. And we have, again, Tamar half an hour, Coimbra 45 minutes, and Lisbon an hour and a half. Bigger towns, Pombal and Tamar. We have a property that could be either a family home I'd say two good tied bedrooms and nice open spaces and it'd be a very nice place to live. Not too much low maintenance garden or it's an investment, it'd be a holiday home and then you rent it out or it's just an investment and you rent it out because of the proximity to a town and your proximity to nature. Eat lots of walks around it. I mean, literally, literally we should do it actually. Maybe not now, but go to the top of the hill and just do 360. Uh, it's really really nice location so it's a perfect it's a very good buy you know you could probably do all this all in for around 100k very good investment so thank you for watching please do like and subscribe see you next time